Hello, today I'm going to cook an Iceland easy carved stuffed chicken breast joint. I'm also going to cook an Iceland easy carved bacon wrapped turkey breast joint. The stuffed chicken breast joint costs five pounds each or you can buy three for ten pounds. That works out at three pounds thirty four each. I'm not sure about the bacon wrapped turkey. Uh, I can't remember, I've, it, I've had it in the freezer a little while. They both come as frozen. So I imagine they're a similar price, but I can't quite remember. So here we go. This is the stuffed chicken joint. Now, let's see if this comes off easily. Weighs 525 grams. And don't too easy. And I'm going to cook this one in the foil. So that is there's the instructions. If you can just see those, you can either cook from defrost or which takes 50 minutes if it's defrosted at 180. Or you can cook from frozen, which takes an hour and a half at 180. If you cook it from defrost, put it in the uh, middle of the oven for 50 minutes. Stand about 10 minutes before carving. Let the juices go back in, but it just depends how much time you've got and how hungry the family is. From frozen, 40 minutes into the cooking time, remove foil. So, you don't seem to have to put foil on it if it's defrosted, but you do if it's frozen. That's what it's saying, put foil over it. So, 40 minutes into the hour, an hour and a half, you take the foil off. So now we'll look at the turkey breast joint. This is bacon wrapped turkey breast joint. And this also weighs 525 grams. And there again are the cooking instructions. You can defrost or you can cook it from frozen. I'm cooking them from frozen. 55 minutes if they're defrosted and 10 minutes to stand. 45 minutes into the cooking time, if it's frozen, cover it with foil and take the foil off 45 minutes into the cooking time and then cook for the rest of the time. So, there we go. This uh, turkey breast, I'm going to cook it in a tray. Also, I'm going to put the chicken breast in the foil on a tray. So, put this, uh, this is turkey breast, that's how it looks. And I'm going to take it out. I'm going to put, and I'm going to cook it out of the foil tray. There we go. Now, I kind of loosen it at the sides and then I use the foil, uh, no, I use the plastic film so that it doesn't make a real mess in my hands. I have to wash them thoroughly anyway afterwards. The foil. Just one side. And there it is. And I wrap it up. Well, a bit like a sweet. This is parchment paper. 
bake oil foil, non-stick baking paper, and I, I tend to use this. You have to get a bit like a sweet, so you have to get like a sweet, just at the end. And then 45 minutes into the cooking of an hour and a half, I'll open that up. So I'll also put that. I'm going to put some foil over the chicken breast because it's frozen. They don't suggest to do this if it's uh, defrosted. I'm using some parchment paper with foil on one side and parchment on the other. It's not very really easy to touch it, so it gives a start. Okay, here we go. Get it on, right? And then we'll take that off. I think it's 40 minutes into the hour and a half. So we'll stick them in the oven now. I've got the oven on to 180, as it says. It's a fan oven, electric fan oven, and I'm putting it in to the middle of the oven. I'm going to set it for timer for 40 minutes. Alexa, remind me in 40 minutes time. What's the reminder for? Oven. Okay, I'll remind you in 40 minutes. Okay. Here are the two, um, well, joints. Turkey joints covered in bacon. And I'm just going to uncover them. There, that's how they look. I'm going to put them back in now for the rest of the time. They both take an hour and 30 minutes each and uh, so we'll pop them back in. And that's how they look so far. This is how the turkey breast with bacon on the top and chicken breast, stuffed chicken breast look after an hour and a half. They're quite crispy. I'm going to let them stand for 10 minutes and then have a look at them again. This is the bacon topped turkey breast. It's been standing for 10 minutes and uh, we're just going to slice it up. Do a few slices and you can have a look. It seems quite moist, but cooked. Right, so now we'll have a look. So it looks very nice. And here we go. Still moist in there. Sorry, it's breaking up a bit. Goes, you can cut it as thick or as thin as you like. Well, let's taste a little bit of it. Looks moist, doesn't it? Mm. Yes, that tastes good. Hasn't got a strong taste, it's quite mellow, but mm. it's tender. So that's the turkey. And this is the what? stuffed turkey breast, a chicken breast. And we'll just cut that and have a look.
this is stuffing underneath I think it's maybe underneath I wouldn't recommend cutting them too thin the slices so have a taste of that with the stuffing And we'll have a taste of that. As you can see, the stuffing's in the middle a little bit, but it tends to, with this one, it's underneath. I think sometimes they're on the top. So that's a piece with the stuffing on. Let's just try it. Mmm. That's tasty. I think the stuffing makes it tasty. Mm. Try and eat a piece without the stuffing. Mm. I think it has a little more taste than the uh, turkey, but not a lot. I think the stuffing does it. Delicious, moist, tender, easy to cook from frozen. So there you have it.